All right. Uh, Noah's got a question about your fantastic Windows 11 built-in apps <laughs> removal script, um, and it's been wonderful. However, in upgrading Windows 11 23H2 to the August update, it stopped uninstalling apps due to the file names. Would it work to use wildcards like clipchamp.clipchamp asterisk instead of the full package name? That way, it'll be less likely to run into this issue. By the way, just found this out about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, I don't remember if it does. Mm, let's take a look on that script. No, not that one. No, that's not this script. Uh, he was asking about the, the app removal script. Uh, yes, yep. Yeah, uh, this one here. My bad. Uh, removing uh, this one. So in this particular case, I'm, I'm using um, it was the builder to remove it off the media. For the oil line script, this one here. So this is just an array of files and in the end, you can use, um, get that back packages to at least find the name with a wildcard and then feed it into this one. Uh, I don't remember if this sum itself will accept a wildcard because I'm, I'm using this in here. So basically, it would have to be adjusted a little bit to dynamically build the list. Possibly. The challenge here is I do this in the WinP phase. I do it offline into the image. Mm -hmm. I don't do it online. I, boot, I, I, I don't really see the need of installing the app and then remove it. I think it's better to tell Windows to just remove it and then never install it. Yeah. Um, but I did confirm that the get dash apex package PowerShell command will accept wildcard. So that works. Well, that's good. So if I go to any given device, um, let's see what I have here. Um, this is a Uh, Windows 10, this is a Windows 11. If I open up a PowerShell prompt, I'm still sharing my screen, right? Yes, sir. All right, so um, <laughs> if I do a get that a package, whatever it is I'm, I'm looking for and throw in the name, it does accept wildcards if I do the clip champ thing. Uh, that one did not exist. Let's try communication. I need something that is actually installed. Yeah, then it will find it. Nice. And, and that will give you uh, the, 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 the full name for it also. So maybe something like that. Modify the script to parse that and output it nice to, to a new list. And then you can feed that list into uh, into this list. And so that package full name is what you were using there to for that list. 